Heather Gavin, Bob Walker, Heather Oliver, Sean Walker, Ridgeville Farm Boys, Danny Moore, Classy Jake, Charles Albert, Harry Ears, Tim Bredberg. In the back there, he's no shrimp with Mike Brink and Fox Valley Money Man, Rick Schrock, Gates on the Move. Heather Gavin has gone off stride. Also off stride, Classy Jake. They're off and trotting from the outside. There's Harry Ears. Tim Bredberg, whose father's visiting us from over at the Soldiers and Sailors home, is on the outside, but he goes off stride. Harry Ears has made a break. Ridgeville Farm Boys and Danny Moore lead it by a length now as we swing around the first turn. Fox Valley Money Man trots up on the outside. He's trotting real fast now for Rick Schrock, and he's going to be the new leader. It's Fox Valley Money Man making the front. Ridgeville Farm Boys is back to second. Racing third, that's Heather Oliver. He's no shrimp, is tucked in fourth. Harry Ears back with the leaders fifth. First quarter in 32-1, and one, followed by Classy Jake, and at the back, Heather Gavin. Seven three-year-old trotters, all bred in the state of Illinois, trot over to the three-eighths mile marker. It's Fox Valley Money Man, the Meadow Branch Jersey gilding by two links. Ridgeville Farm Boys with Danny Moore right there second. As we trot towards a half mile marker, it's Heather Oliver back there third. Racing fourth, he's no shrimp, moving up now with cover, followed by Harry Ears on the inside. Classy Jake and Heather Gavin, half and 105 and one fifth of a second. Pretty slow first half for this field. They ought to get home pretty good here. Up front, it's Fox Valley Money Man, a length and a quarter. Heather Oliver's right there, second on the outside. Ridgeville Farm Boy's getting a nice trip third. He'll start looking for racing room. He's no shrimp on the outside, fourth being brought up nicely by Mike Brink. Harry Ears on the inside is racing uh, fifth. Classy Jake, who was way out of it, sweeps three wide now for Cahoka, Missouri's veterinarian Doc Albert. He's three wide and third on the outside. Moving up, Classy Jake. Three quarters and 138 and four, and this field's really well bunched here in the final turn. But Fox Valley Money Man has pretty easy fractions, and Rick Schrock lets out a little line now to lead by two and a half. Ridgeville Farm Boys comes on a closer second. Heather Oliver's dropping back third. Harry Ears is coming up up this inside the B third now to challenge for second, but it's going to be Fox Valley Money Man home the winner. Fox Valley Money Man will win it. Ridgeville Farm Boys was second. Harry Ears was home third, followed by He's No Shrimp. The final check to Heather Oliver. And there was no money. No money was bet on number three to place in that race. And that was a big mistake because if there had been money on seven to place, which he did, you would have got a lot of money, folks. Here's your winner. Owned by Lily Racing Stables Incorporated of Dennis Grove and J.D. Graham from Salem, Illinois. Trained and driven by Springfield's Rick Schrock, who's joined in the winner's circle here by his wife, Tina, and young daughter, his mother-in-law, Marietta Walker, and the whole Walker family with the fair royalty. Chaz Walker's down there. Let's give him a big hand. They win the nightcap. Fox Valley Money Man, 208 for this mile. Win the trophy courtesy of the Farmer's State Bank. And Kurt Becker with some final thoughts. And, Rick, we know it's late. We know you're a man of few words. We know you're a man that comes to race and not to talk a whole lot, but we want to ask you one question. Winning's fun, but what's it like to stand in the winner's circle, not only with your wife, but also a daughter? Is that pretty cool or what? It's the greatest. <laughs> it's the greatest. Rick, thank you, sir. Yeah, Rick became a papa, as uh, Ed told you back in February. Rick, congratulations. Nice job with that trotter. Ed, Fox Valley Money Man, a horse that got overshadowed by Fox Valley Gatsby, his stable mate last year, that one two-year-old trotting colt of the year honors, but this colt's not all bad either. He's won over 20,000 after that win tonight. Ed, back to you. Thank you, Kurt Becker. And folks, have you enjoyed Kurt tonight with these trackside interviews? Let's give Kurt Becker a big hand. I appreciate Kurt coming all the way up here from Aldemont, Illinois. Kurt has a very, very busy schedule.